The southern sea otter is the smallest marine mammal. Unlike other marine mammals, they don't have the thick layer of blubber to keep them warm. Instead, they have the densest, yet very soft layers of fur that insulates them from the cold water. It was this layer of fur that once drove them to almost extinct by fur hunters. They also have high level of metabolism to help maintain their body temperature. Therefore, they need to eat about 25 to 30 percent of their body weight each day. If an otter is constantly disturbed, harassed, or chased, it can die from being exhausted. Sea otter's diet includes sea urchins, crabs, clams, and other invertebrates. By eating sea urchins and crabs, they keep the sea urchin and crab populations under control. As the result, they give the kelp forest and eelgrass in estuary a chance to regrow. These marine plants provide oxygen, food, and shelter to marine animals. Thus, sea otters play an important role in keeping the environment around them in balance. In 1977, sea otters became protected under the Endangered Species Act. In addition, non-governmental organizations like the Monterey Bay Aquarium have programs to monitor rescue distressed otters, rehabilitate and release them back to nature. Their population has improved, but is still far from recovered. If you would like to help the sea otters, please contact and donate to the Monterey Bay Aquarium directly. In this video, we captured some of their daily activities like sleeping, rolling to trap air bubbles into their fur as a way to increase insulation, grooming their fur, cleaning their feet, feeding on clams or crabs, and so on. We also noticed some social behaviors that we don't know what they meant, but enjoyable. As you will see, they are so adorable. Mother sea otters are one of the most devoting mothers. I love watching them taking care of their pups. Enjoy. Notice the rolling sea otter? There! French kiss! Wait, there's more. She leans over. Sniff here. Sniff there. Private, keep out.
Now, if you notice the actively swimming white face otter, it either sniffs or nibbles on almost every single other otter that is floating. Like it's looking for its mom, but it's kind of big. That's a mummy and a, licking the baby. I thought it was a baby, that's why it I is. kind of... Yes, it is. Yeah. They just look so peaceful, I yeah. love it. I know, I know. Uh, they away. were almost gone for a while. Yeah. yeah. It's good to see them thriving again. I know, I hope. So the future generations, you know, can see them too. Yeah. Oh, I love her. I know. It. So my dad, when we when we were little, he used to dive the pier, and so we'd oh, sit really? down and yeah, he was really good about making sure we were exposed to nature and and the earth and yeah. respect for it. And take away more garbage than you leave behind, kind of thing. Yes, yeah, yes. We we're always cleaning up stuff.
cost them a lot of energy. Right, wow. right, yeah. That's not good. Especially when they're nursing. Something underneath you. They just don't have the energy. Right, right. So where, where do they hunt? Right here. Oh. Yeah, the boys are out to sea right now. They'll, they'll come back in a little bit, maybe another month or so. But the females, they eat about 25% of their body weight every day. It costs them a lot when they get flushed. Yep. And they need like 50% when they're nursing. Yeah. For a short period of time, we lost track of the mother and her pup. We worried. Then we spotted them rolling among the group. We relieved. He's like, where is it? Here. Oh, okay. What are you doing? 